Good morning. My name is Simon Chambers. I'm here in Yogyakarta, Indonesia, as part of the ACT Alliance General Assembly. With me is Rudelmar Bueno de Faria, the General Secretary of ACT Alliance. It's great to have you with us here, Rudelmar. Thank you for joining us. And I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about how you're feeling as we're on the eve of the General Assembly here in this beautiful country. Thank you very much, uh, Simon. It's a pleasure to, to be here in Yogyakarta. Very excited. Uh, with the uh, fourth uh, General Assembly of the ACT Alliance, uh, the first assembly in Asia. As ACT Alliance, we have been uh, walked a long way since our last assembly in 2018, where we have been made very important decisions programmatically, but also politically, uh, emphasizing, reinforcing our, our faith identity establishing new cooperation with different stakeholders beyond the ecumenical movement and also uh, addressing issues of gender equality. That has been one of the gaps that we saw uh, uh, in previous uh, assembly of the ACT Alliance. So basically very excited and believing that um, we will be able to do uh, very good work with the more than uh, 300 participants of this assembly coming from different parts of the world, uh, bringing their uh, specific uh, uh, topics to be discussed, shared, and also uh, having deliberations that we will unite more the alliance and the importance of having an alliance as ours. Uh, Faith-based organizations uh, represented basically more than 127 countries and operating in different areas of work like humanitarian work, development and advocacy. So very excited and believing that we will be uh, having a very good outcome of this gathering here. It really is exciting to see so many people coming together from around the world as part of the, the ACT Alliance and bringing that commitment together. Uh, I know you were at the Youth Pre-Assembly a couple of days ago. Uh, was there anything there that uh, inspired you as we move into the Assembly itself? Absolutely. Uh, the energy, the innovation, the commitment of these young people that have not been part of the previous assembly, as we are in this journey to increase and to be much more inclusive. Um, uh, it was very exciting uh, to, to be connecting with them, listening to them, uh, uh, and also promoting this intergenerational dialogue that is fundamental, based on the wisdom of people that have been uh, working in, uh, in solidarity with uh, many, many other uh, groups and people with the communities that we are working with uh, and at the same time having innovative ways of addressing the challenges that the world is living today, it's facing today. So that was very, very exciting and I hope that the participation of the young people in this official assembly that starts tomorrow, uh, we uh, can then uh, have a more uh, inclusive uh, approach for all the decisions that we will do as an alliance some great challenges that you've laid before us and a strong vision to lead us into that future. I look forward to working with you on that and seeing how this assembly comes together. Congratulations. My pleasure and hoping to, to work together. Excellent. Thank you.